and welcome back to another June Workshop episode with me, Demis Helen. And in this video, we're going to take a look at the new full MPE support in June 3.6 and how to set this up in Cubase and then how to utilize the MPE features. Before we go any further, let's briefly look over what MPE means. MPE stands for MIDI Polyphonic Expression and it utilizes all MIDI channels so we can be more expressive with our MPE enabled MIDI controller. I'm using the Expressive E Osmos today and we can do things like this. And from that demonstration, you can see how versatile MPE actually is. And I'm going to show you how to set that up in June 3 today. OK, so the first thing that we need to do is set up the MPE within Cubase. And this is really easy and really quick. On the left hand side, you will need to set your MIDI inputs to any. And on your actual instrument here, June 3, set that to any as well to make sure MPE works fully. If you set this just to one channel, MPE is not going to work correctly. The first thing we're going to look at is the pitch bend and slide. So here is a patch called Certainty. You can download this in the description and we're going to adapt a couple of factory presets as well to make them more expressive. But we're going to start with Certainty and this is just controlled by the mod wheel opening the filter. You can see there's no modulation with my key presses at this time. So we're going to set up that pitch bend and all we have to do is go into settings and I'm going to up this further than I would normally do. Up and down and now we have modulation like vibrato back and forth. And also to note, if you set your pitch bend ranges to 64, so the maximum they can go, we can actually slide between notes and sort of hold the next note in position, just like this. So now we can move on to the aftertouch and brightness. So I'm going to turn off to start with the velocities on this. So we're not getting any quieter notes. We just get the same level every time. And I'm just going to turn the level down a bit because this is going to get loud. In the mod matrix, you can see the mod wheel is controlling the filter. I'm going to cancel that so we can use the aftertouch feature. So aftertouch, attach this to the filter and let's just open this up to a 50%. So usually aftertouch only responds to a key press of one key. So if you're pressing a three note chord, no matter how hard you press one of the keys, all of the keys will open the filter at the same rate. Only reserved for poly aftertouch where you can choose which key is louder or which one's opening the filter more so you have more control. But with MPE, aftertouch becomes like poly aftertouch. see they are alternating back and forth and they're not interrupting each other or raising the filter at the same time for both notes. So it is a lot more expressive in that way. So now I'm going to demonstrate brightness and we're going to attach this to the filter as well. Turn after touch off and I'm going to show you how this sounds. You can hear there I've got that pitch bend on quite loud, but the difference, I'm just going to turn that off for now, the difference with aftertouch and brightness, brightness you use more of the pressure of the keyboard, whereas aftertouch you just kind of touch gently and it's very responsive. So if you look at the keyboard here, There is a lot of depression in the key and I can't describe without you actually feeling this. There is like a certain level of the key and then there's a sponginess after on this keyboard. 
that's the pressure that we're utilizing in June 3 here. But Aftertouch is very responsive on the first part of the travel of the key. You can see it's already at full brightness here. Nothing happens further on. There's no pressure de detail in there. So what we're going to do is mix these two together. So one at 50 to 60 and just a little bit on the aftertouch. So we get a bit of data on the travel and then we get more on the pressure. And what that does is smooth out the curve and it just gives you a really nice response to that and it's more expressive. And of course, it sounds excellent with the June 3 engine as well. So with them too, they sound great. But I just want to demonstrate quickly Poly After Touch, which isn't technically MPE, but just to show you how these two together are simulating the Poly After Touch in its entirety. So I'm going to take this up to 60 and I'm going to switch my keyboard to Poly After Touch mode. So it's technically not MPE, but it's just to demonstrate how this is mimicked by those two other settings. So you can see there's a lot of travel on that note. If we watch that again, And if we turn that off and go back to brightness and a bit of aftertouch. So essentially we can mimic most of the poly aftertouch just using the aftertouch and brightness together. So that's just controlling the filter. That's not doing anything else in this particular case. What we can do is change this up on other styles of presets and control different parameters. So I'm going to start by jumping into this browser and I'm going to pick a sequence from the June 3 factory sound bank. I'm going to choose Bulldozer by Kevin. This is a cracking preset. So you can see with this one, if I just press this key here, it's doing nothing in the modulation department. But you can see here the brightness was intended here on the breath control. Now, we don't have a breath control here in the studio, and I imagine some of you don't either. So we can head to the mod matrix, scroll down till we see breath in the source. She's here, number 19. I'm going to change that to aftertouch. And then simply all we have to do is apply aftertouch. You can see the aftertouch is now opening the filter. So I'm going to make this more obvious by going to voice three. And you can see here voice three is only the one that's controlled by this. And I'm going to turn the envelope amount down. So it's a lot quieter and more obvious when this filter opens. So you can see how easy that was to set up and you can adapt any of the presets in the factory sound bank. So finally, we can use aftertouch to blend layers together. So I have two voices here. One of them is on and the second one is off. And you can see here oscillator one is turned down on voice two and it's fully up on voice one. So voice one sounds like this. Voice two sounds like this. So you can see MSEG1 here that I've drawn in on eighth notes is controlling the level of that, creating a gate effect. So I want to switch between those two and we can use aftertouch for this. So I'm going to choose aftertouch twice and I'm going to turn off MSEG1 amount here. And I'm going to say I want aftertouch on lane two to control this lane here, lane one. So mod matrix, mod matrix amount one. So it's controlling that first one. Turn that up to 100. And then this one, I want to control oscillator volume one. You can see here, so that I'm going to set to voice two. We only want to control voice two there. And then this one, we want to control voice one. Bring that down. 
So you can see one's plus 100, one's minus. So the harder we press, one goes quieter, one goes louder. So you can get some interesting effects and sound design. It sounds almost reversed in this case. So let's make use of brightness instead on those. So brightness, I've lost it on here. There it is. So now you can hear that turns that right off that volume. So let's use after touch for this one because I think that's going to work better. And that sounds really nice. You still get that reverse effect, but it's a little bit smoother. So that looks like this in one press. So there we are, that's how to implement MPE in Cubase and how to use Dune 3 to its full capacity now. And you can be more expressive and that goes for every patch in the factory sound banks. You can adapt them now to work with that full MPE support. So hopefully you've got some new ideas and don't forget you can download these presets in the description, the ones that are not already in the factory sound banks. So thank you very much for watching. I'll look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Take care.